What's up, good boy? So I am Y311H with my friend here, Kasungu. Straight out of Africa with lots of good vibes, crazy videos you don't wanna miss out, and lots of good energy. Let's dive in, my friend. Hit the like button and watch till the end. Ha! Ha! An interesting beginning here we see. Oh, some guy doing uh, what looks like art. Using charcoal dust. Ha! Huh? This is interesting. Hmm. And in the beginning, this uh, art of this looks like just sketches, my friend. Ha! Huh? But it's some good vibes human. And at the end, you might end up with the one incredible piece of art. Greater than anything maybe we have ever seen or come across, you see? Humans are intelligent, full of good vibes and just amazing, my friend. Just like yourself. You are adorable. Hit the like button and let this video reach all people and other incredible guys like you in the whole world, you see? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, look at this. This is incredible, my friends. Did you think it would turn up like this? Oh. This can also relate with our lives, my friend. When things at first look like they are not adding up and it's just crazy. Oh, just give it time, my friends. Things will eventually come back to the way you would have wanted them to be. It will be good vibes, you see? Yeah. The way this art had begun, my friends, you wouldn't think that uh, there would be anything close to this, you see? But here it is, my friends. Good vibes. Yeah. What was the way? Hey, do y'all do y'all believe in vampires? You see, you see this right here. Okay. See. All right. Check this out. Hey. <laughs> ain't no coincidence. <laughs> ain't no coincidence, man. You know what? He's he's Vlad's descent. He's a direct descendant of Vlad the Impaler, Dracul. Uh, I mean. And look, it's red, okay? You know all the red rubies that we see people wearing, like uh, Usher with them in his ear and everything? Y'all know what time it is. Oprah and all of them. Yeah, and his 10-year battle uh, for, for Vlad's castle, and he owns it, and his yearning for Transylvania. And, of course, we, we all know this picture. You know, and with faces like all in the red like people screaming from hell <laughs> telling you my friends quite interesting we were talking <laughs> the funniest story crazy for animals you're okay you're okay uh, I will be able to I just I more importantly want to get him to breathe first Go, buddy. All right, ready. All right. He's baby. He might not You're gonna let him go, right, Faith? Yeah. You're not gonna try to hold it. No. No, let him go. Let him He's go. Such yeah, a baby. I know you love him, but let him go. Yeah. He's so cute. This, that is good vibes. Adam lived 930 years, and I'm not gonna read the reference. You'll see it there. Seth lived 912 years. Enos lived 905 years. Canaan lived 910 years, Mahalalel lived 895 years, Jared lived 962 years, Enoch lived 365 years, of course he was translated alive to heaven, Methuselah lived 969 years, that's the oldest, that he lived longer than any man in history, Lamech lived 777 years, and Noah lived a total of 950 years. If we go from Noah's death, which is at 950 years of age, to the time of Abraham, Shem, who was Noah's son, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, three sons, Shem, who was Noah's son, died at 500. But Abraham's father, generations later, died at 205. Abraham died at age 175. Now, are you noticing something's happening here? The age is beginning to be reduced. So the average age 
from Adam to Noah is over 800 years that a person lives. That's average, a little over 800 years. But now they're starting to die at 200, under 200, over 100. Moses, by the time you get to Moses, he passes away at 120 years of age. Joshua passes away at 110 years of age. So we see this huge reduction. And if we want to know why that God allowed, after the flood, man's days to be reduced, it has, Psalms chapter 55, verse 23, it has to do with man's wickedness. Friends, we should eliminate all wickedness and spread it out. Okay. There comes a point on your ascension journey where you realize that not everybody has the same intentions and good heart as you. As a chosen one, a light worker, you're operating with the true light of God. You are truthful. You are authentic. Your yes means yes. Your no means no. When you tell someone that you love them, you truly love them. You're not trying to impress anybody. What you see is what you get. And you don't let other people influence your truth. Newsflash, a lot of people don't function like that. A lot of people are wearing masks and are like chameleons and mirror what they see in front of them because they want to get approval. They want to get validation. They're being sneaky. They're being manipulative. And you as someone who doesn't move that way, when you encounter someone like that, it boggles your mind. At least it boggled my mind because that's not how I operate. Like, why do I care what other people think about me? Like, why do I care to get validation from other people? You ain't paying my bills. So why do I care what you think about me? Those that can see the light inside of me will recognize the light inside of me. I'm not trying to convince nobody to see the light inside of me. You gotta be at a certain frequency in order to see the light inside of chosen ones, light workers, earth angels, God's army, God's people, those that are operating at the frequency of source. A lot of people still plugged into the world are seeking that false light. And when that false light meets the true light, the authentic light, that's when a clash can happen. Demons operate in the false light. And so when the true light, the light of God, shines on the false light of the demons, that's what gets these people going cuckoo. The ascension journey like really opened up my eyes. I did not realize how naive I was. I truly thought that people saw the world the way I saw, meaning they were honest and truthful and lived through their hearts. And I realized, no, no, not everybody uh, operates like that. And this might be the reason why a lot of chosen ones and light workers kind of like isolate themselves because everybody around them is operating this false light and they're the only ones that are truly operating with the light of God and they are like the punching bag to those that are still stuck in the matrix. But I'm here to tell you that if you need to disengage, disengage. Take the time to center yourself, create that connection with your creator, rise the Christ within you and step into your purpose, your divine purpose. Because we all have a divine purpose, right? Chosen ones, light workers, we gotta hold it down. We gotta hold the light down. We gotta be anchors in order for God to use us to spread his grace onto this planet. And our assignments aren't coming from the world. They're coming from God. And in order to access that, you gotta go inside of yourself. You gotta heal yourself. You gotta face those wounds. You gotta face those generational curses. You are one of the chosen ones in your family and it's up to you to make it happen because you're the only person in your family that actually will take the time to go inside of yourself and heal. If you're at that stage on your ascension journey where you're like, okay, I got a purpose, I need to step into my purpose, go ahead and check the link in my bio. I have a free ebook that I wrote, Find Your Purpose and you know, create a heart-centered business. Whatever you went through in life, that is probably what's going to lead you to your purpose. Your pain, most likely, will lead you to your purpose. So if you're interested in getting started and getting those pl seeds planted inside of your mind, check out the link in my bio. I love you all. Catch you in the next video. Soon, family. 
These are the things I realized after becoming spiritually awoken about the Bible. One, Eden is not an island. Eden was a laboratory. And in that laboratory is where they created um, Adam and Eve and Lilith and Adam's third wife <laughs> by splicing animal uh, um, animal DNA and the um, Anunnaki DNA. Yes, it's in the Bible. The Anus, yes, those are the Anunnaki's. King Solomon was a scientist. He created robots. He created clones. Artificial intelligence. Sound familiar? Yes. History repeats itself. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. Read the Bible with your third eye open. You see these things. Mm. The second coming is not a man, not the S-O-N, it's the S-U-N, the son, the real man son. So, if your DNA is not potent enough to be out in the sun, <laughs> fire and brimstone, get out. Heal yourself, get back into the power, receive sunlight. The God of the Bible is a murderous psychopath. Nowhere in the Bible, other than in Job, he said that Satan kill anybody. But who gives Satan the authority to kill the God of the Bible? <laughs> Bye. Poof. All the miracle babies in the Bible <laughs> were artificial insemination artificial insemination there were no miracles there was in the lab and they inseminated the woman and yes that's how history repeats itself technology the apocalypse is the revelation of the truth for people to become awakened so the truth is out now if you don't know the truth, hmm. it's because you don't want to. People perish because of the lack of knowledge. Everything is out there. That is why we have the World Wide Web. Get out into the know. Awaken yourself. Do your research. Everything is there. Read. Read the Apocryphals, the Bible, the, um, the laws of the universe. So many different texts is out there. The lack of knowledge will make people perish. The Bible is used as a tool to keep the God man. People with the hair stands up in the ear. God man enslaved by using it to make them think that they are the people of the Bible that are supposed to be in slavery, that the people that went through all these atrocities are the, 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 um, the people that deserve to be there. They manifest that for themselves with their thinking. They use the Bible as a manifestation tool. They use the Bible as a manifestation tool. And the God man, God man, we got we here standing up like antennas, yes. We are the God man. We are not humans. We are God man. Humans are the people that they created in Eden. Yes. The splicing between animal and the Anus. Yes, those are humans. We are God man. We came from the sun. The angels in the Bible that mated with women. Yes. <laughs> we are the God man. And they have the ones that Solomon did. The artificial ones, those are the ones that can't have kids. The, the ones that clones, the ones that don't have dreams. Yes, those are the ones, the artificial, ones, the artificial ones. So there are three different type of people living here. The humans, the godmans, and the artificial clones. They can't reproduce. No. <laughs> they can't dream. No. <laughs> we are the real ones.
read over here standing up yes the bible is used as a tool <laughs> as a tool to keep you in this heady state of begging begging eh? and satisfying with little while the people that keep us there is up there flourishing but we here thinking that we are the people of the Bible and we deserve to be in slavery and we deserve to, to have a... Get out of those mentality. We are God, men. <laughs> Manifest what you want. Manifestation is a tool. See yourself having everything you need. Mm -hmm. Yes. So do not believe all these lies that they're telling you. That you are the people of the Bible. And they use the Bible as a tool to keep you down. Begging. You are a God. Gods don't beg. We create. When you think they show us all these things on the TV. And send out all of these different things that keep us low. Vibrating low in fear. In shame and in guilt. So they could manifest what they want. And they want us to manifest what they want for them. So come out of those. Come out of those things. Come out of those things. We are gods. We create. We manifest. They cannot manifest. They don't have that power. So they use us to manifest what they want. Stop watching the TV. Stop watching the, the, the news. Stop listening to the podcast. Come out of those things. Create the reality you want for yourself. The Bible is filled with liars, fornicators, murderers. That the God of the Bible didn't punish. <laughs> you ever wonder? But yet, they tell you, murdering, sleeping with the next man's wife is a sin. But they didn't get punished. It is all a mechanism to keep you enslaved. Come out of those things. So shall it be. We rise. My friend, different humans have different beliefs, but we are all one. So they go and they buy up all these people's lands and they put, put them out on the street, force them into this little tiny corner, and then wonder why they're angry. Why are these people so angry? Why are they so, it must be their religion. Are you guys cornered? You, when you take a dog and you put it into a corner and threaten it, the dog is gonna bite you, man. Come on, this is basic psychology 101. This ain't no, come on, man. <laughs> so you defeat them and every so many years you hear there's an Arab uprising and you defeat them again and now you just got the boot on the neck. This situation between Israel and Palestine reminds me of Hunger Games. It's the modern day Hunger Games. It's exactly what it is. It's the modern day Hunger Games. No difference. Zero difference. When you take pleasure in trying to eradicate and destroy a people off of this planet, on something that wasn't even yours to begin with that's pretty dark that's pretty damn dark did this rocket just prove that space is fake do we have lift off okay it's going i paid very close attention to when this rocket breaks out of the bubble.
What is that? If anyone can explain what this is, please let me know. Thanks for watching and stay weird. When these rockets are in, what is that, my friend? Terrence Howard's revealing a 6,000 year old secret. This is a working model of Terrence Howard's patent. From what I can tell, this is what makes time travel possible. So, this is the flower of life. You guys should know about a 6,000 year old secret. 6,000 years. Mankind has been trying to decipher this one little thing called the flower of life. So this is the flower of death, which is the opposite of the flower of life. And this is Terrence's website right here, where he goes into details of the difference of both of those. And these, this information is pretty wild. You can check it out. And this virtual patent right here can supposedly help with time travel. And it's 6,000 years old. This, this same symbol has been found in the, the forbidden temples in China, sitting under the fufu dogs. And the foot on it, the flower of life, saying whoever controlled that flower of life controlled the universe. There were secrets in that flower of life. So what Howard's talking about, he didn't create this stuff. He's into sacred geometry, which is a new age spiritual practice. And my question to you is, what do you think he's in... Ah, my friends, hmm. does it make sense to you? You asked for further information regarding the anomaly being picked up on the Antarctic. We are happy to help. First, we want you to understand the process of reflection. We're sure you're aware that mirrors can be used to reflect sunlight, and this process can create heat when directed at a surface object. There are a number of objects in the home that can focus the sun's rays, such as shaving mirrors, glass jars and bottles. Spherical objects such as paperweights and even glass doorknobs have started fires. These objects can focus and concentrate the sun's rays sufficiently to start a fire. Now, imagine a group of satellites with a group of mirrors working in unison, and they point to a certain area of the planet. Together, they create a reflection with enough power to cause the water to boil due to the heat, and this heated area causes tidal waves, and other related incidents. If you have already been paying attention to how the Antarctic anomaly seemingly appears at least every three to four weeks, this is because of the testing of these satellites. They are causing a direct beam of light so hot that it is causing that area of the ocean to heat up. And with this, sea life are feeling the heat of this anomaly. They are being boiled because of the intense heat of the anomaly. Dolphins and whales are fleeing this area. Deep ocean marine life are coming up to the surface. Weather is heating up because the ocean is heating up. Do you see where we're going with this? Do you now understand why the weather is chaotic? This is man-made manipulation. We hope you understand what we are trying to convey. We witness you. We love you. We can't wait to bring you home. Oh, my friends. All this is for entertainment purposes. Love your neighbor that you love yourself. Please. Haja, and in other places, there's this, my friend. Oh, some landmass here around the forest that looks like a humanoid structure that had laid down. And other hills almost looks like humans. This is crazy stuff, my friend. Looks like there are faces on the mountains there. And it's just unbelievable. And other caves inside, they look like fresh. How can you explain this now, my friends, you see? Huh? The stones there look exactly like human or uh, other stuff fresh. But uh, now, according to science, this is natural occurrence of uh, stuff, of stones and everything else, you see? But you, my friend, please leave your thoughts on this. Leave comments. Let us know what you think about these stones here that looks like uh, chunks of meat. It's crazy. Oh, look at the lines on those rocks. Man, my God. You see, this one looks like uh, meat. Honest. You see? Look at this one. Ah, my friend, you mean this one is a stone? Look, look, just look at it yourself. Well, tell me, for when you go there, where you get meat from the butchery, if you do, do you see meat that looks like this stone? Hmm. Or is the stone that looks like meat? Ah, no, which is which? Anyway, without this, it's really clear that my friends, we really need to be honest. Honesty among us to one another is incredible, you see? And can be pretty helpful in understanding stuff. Y'all realize what's coming? I mean, really, do y'all realize what's coming? 
Y'all better stay prayed up because this whole thing's coming apart. Hours, hours after Trump was convicted on all counts, Joe Biden gives a green light to do this, to start hitting on the other side of the line. The thing that we know will spark an all-out conflict globally. These people don't care what happens to us. They don't care what happens to you and I. They don't care what happens to our children. They don't care what happens to our finances. They think about themselves and how to line their own pockets and how to have total control of you and I. Y'all, I mean, y'all better stick to peace, but I'm telling you right now, this is about to be the worst season any of us have ever experienced. And I don't think we can even comprehend just how bad it is. I really don't. I don't think we have any idea what we may be doing. My people, what you're seeing is Terrence Howard's working model of his virtual reality patent live in action, made over nine years ago, because this is when he posted it. In 2015, said that there's enough energy in here, 1.21 gigawatts, to be able to time travel back to 1955. Now in this clip, we have another one of Terrence Howard's inventions, which he calls the linchpin, as you can see, right above me. Now this has a propulsion system that doesn't give off any heat or sound. Doesn't that sound familiar? Kind of like the UFOs that they describe of today. And it can even change directions and flip over without losing speed and disappear in the snap of a finger. Now, as you can see, someone called Terrence Howard's inventions futuristic, but I'm a firm believer that there's nothing new under the sun and anything you can think of has already been done. It's just that we are now remembering. Enter the new age, baby. New sun. We getting all of our information back. Shout out to my ancestors. Because I know ancient technology when I see it. Leave in the comments below. Peace and one love. You'll see hydrogen sitting all the way over there by itself. But they don't show that hydrogen has the same tone as, as carbon. Same tone. Same key of E. 40.5 hertz. If you were to take the angles of incidence. Or the tones that they create. You know, their color, like you can turn color back into sound based upon it's the same wavelength. It's just twice as long or much longer. So there was a relationship between light and color, sound and tone, matter and shape. You'll compare Walter Russell's to it and you'll see something completely different. It's unwinding. Whoa. You'll see there's a relationship between hydrogen, carbon, silicone, cobalt, rhodium, they're all bonded as the middle point between two noble gases. So those things don't really exist. It's only one substance. Now the problem is, the first thing that we're able to perceive is hydrogen. That's the first visible element because before it is too dense for us to perceive it. But as you reach into the next octave, the carbon octave has two tones to it. It has a negative side and a positive side. The part where lithium behaves, lithium is, a, is contractive. Beryllium is contractive. Boron is contractive. But the moment you get to carbon, you balance it out. It gets to a perfect balance of plus and minus four. So it's a double tone. So everything has an equal and opposite mate. Those other little elements, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, magnese, and, and iron, all of those, those aren't true elements. Those are isotopes. You guys, oh my God, watch this. So you're telling me that nothing strange has been transpiring in our world since April 8th. You're telling me that people aren't seeing things that we have never seen before in our skies in America since April 8th. I want you guys to take a look at something and what they are saying is, you know what? I'm not going to tell you what they're saying. I'm going to let you draw your own conclusion on what you think is actually happening. Okay? Check this out. Look at that streak across the sky, y'all. It's 2.48 in the morning. 
fuck is that? This is a long streak across the sky here. Now you tell me. What is that? Don't you find that amazing? I'm out. You know that inner dialogue that you are having? Who is it that is actually listening to those words? See, your mouth didn't say anything, but yet your ears heard this dialogue. So, or monologue for that matter. But did you ever ask yourself, how can you come up with words since you didn't speak them? And how did you actually hear those words without your ears actually hearing them? You know how you can do that? You did it because everything around you is actually an illusion and who you really are has nothing to do with your brain. That's exactly why you can hear yourself talking without using your ears. This is why you can uh, talk without using your mouth because who you are is not this physical body. Now, go back in time as well. Go back, let's say, uh, when you were a young child. You can actually see it, can't you? How can you see it when your eyes are not really seeing it? You know why? Because again, time is an illusion and who you really are is multidimensional. You don't need eyes to see, you don't need a mouth to speak, and you don't need ears to hear. Love and light, no matter what you do, be the greatest you. The most nutrient-dense muscle meat is elk. The most nutrient-dense organ meat is liver. The most nutrient-dense fruit are strawberries. The most nutrient-dense vegetable is watercress. The most nutrient-dense nut are Brazil nuts. The most nutrient-dense seed are flax seed. The most nutrient-dense herb is parsley. The most nutrient-dense fish is salmon. And the most nutrient-dense shellfish are oysters.